I'm, I'm, well, first of all, thank you, Margaret, for inviting me here for this exhibit. And uh, believe it or not, it's a little confusing to me how this all started. Um, I have some pieces right here at the beginning that are from high school under the uh, guidance of Claire Burtz when I was in um, probably like 70, 71, 72. And uh, she just helped me and we did some things and I really don't remember anything after that. Uh, I, that, I took art classes with her and that was it. I went into college. I n never picked up a paintbrush or anything. And then time goes by and suddenly, uh, I guess I've been going to these paint and sips. And then I met my soon to be husband and I think he saw some of the stuff that I had done and he was encouraging me to do, to get back into painting or to try a different thing. So like 15, 17 years ago, I took a um, course with uh, Alex Gargolis from Worcester. He was a famous watercolorist from Worcester. And uh, I took the course with him and kind of enjoyed it. And shortly after that, I went out and I did, a, there's a couple things here that I did right after I took the course. And then time goes by. I would do these paint and sips, and then I would do things on my own, and um, we, we often go to New Hampshire, and we often go to, uh, down to the Cape, Truro Provincetown area, and I've met people, different artists, people, in both locations that I've actually taken lessons from. Up in, New, up in uh, the Conway area of New Hampshire, J.P. Goodwin was a oil painter, which I never really played with. I was mostly doing acrylics, if not the watercolors. So I took a couple lessons with her, and then you know did a little practice and tried things. Some of it worked out, some of it doesn't, as it always does. And let's see what happened. Two years ago, down at the Cape, I signed up for a course in oil painting impressionism, which was totally, totally not my thing. I'm more of a realist, so it was quite challenging for me, and every time I tried to do a painting, unfortunately the realism would come in. Uh, that instructor was uh, Mary Gia Marino, and uh, she is a painter. She has a Excuse me, she has her work shown in different galleries down in Provincetown now. But I thank her for kind of introducing me to that, and especially to the oils, because I was always afraid to work with oils, but I found that oils are really much easier and much more forgiving than acrylics. And as anyone knows, watercolors, watercoloring is not forgiving whatsoever. Once you put something down on the paper, that's it. These two paintings were done back in the 70s when I was in high school. So we were talking about the Claire Burtz? The, the Claire Burtz. Um, influence. Influence. She was the art teacher at the Selfridge High at the time. Okay. That's so the covered bridge. And then this is my, uh, actually, I got a book. Somebody gave me for Christmas a, a little box with paints and a book on how to paint. And this picture was in there. So I did this picture of the rose the bouquet of roses with that. I tried to replicate it last year, but I think the original one is much better. I just was too nervous doing it again. That's wonderful. Yeah. And um, of course, the library has some of the Claire Burke's artwork here. Oh, yes. If you go down the back stairway over there in the hallway and down to the lower level, there are numerous uh, works from Claire Burtz. She was very prolific. She actually did the seal for Southridge, the Eye of the Commonwealth seal. So you've got lots and lots of people here tonight, which is really wonderful, and it's a great testament to um, the interest that people in the community have. It's, there's a lovely buzz. Well, I paid most of them to come here. <laughs> I think a couple have already been sold. That's wonderful. These two paintings right here, uh, they're both acrylic. They're from New Hampshire. This is Cathedral Ledge, which is in uh, just in North Conway. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our cousin's barn on Davis Hill in Santa Conway. This painting is a watercolor. And what I find interesting about this is 
Billy and I make wine and when we have to siphon out the wine and put it into different carboys or demijohns, there's a residue. So I took the residue, so this maroon color, this purple color is actually made from wine. Oh, so. beautiful. That's amazing. That yeah. So that's called? So that's watercolor. Yes, this is splash. Wonderful. And here I see you branching out into this, a completely this, different This form. was a, this, I don't know if it was a paint and sip or a burn and sip, but up, with, up in New Hampshire with Billy's cousin, I found a piece of wood and I just did that thing. It's, it's kind of funny, yes. And this one here, I just worked on this earlier this year. I had a little thing in mind, and it kind of came out the way I wanted. It's This is called High Tide. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's not Impressionism and it's not Realism. I'm not sure what it is. So maybe we start here at the left and move to the right? So this basically is Cape Cod, Truro, and Provincetown. This is the cottages at uh, Cold Storage Beach. This is the oil house at Race Point. The oil house actually is where they store the oil that they used to light the lighthouses back then. Okay. And they kept it apart from the lighthouse in case there was ever a fire so it wouldn't destroy the lighthouse. This is uh, the road going out to Race Point. But for the most part, this is going out to Hatches Harbor. That's kind of an impressionist one going out into the dunes again. When I took the course uh, two years ago in Impressionism, this was one of the outcomes uh, of the class. This is Captain Jack's Wharf. And as you can see, there's nothing specific in there. It's just how I view the, uh, the wharf from the angle we were in the parking lot in the West End. And this is what I saw. This here again is a jetty. That's kind of, it's kind of a self-portrait of me walking the jetty out to the uh, out to the tip of the cape. This is a prototype for a Christmas card, uh, probably around 2000, 2001. So this is a watercolor. And we actually had made our Christmas cards with that, as you can see, with the greetings on there. This is another watercolor from, uh, this is the Bridge of Flowers in Shelburne Falls. That's a watercolor as well. This is actually uh, alcohol ink, which uh, the art center about eight or nine years ago, the Arts Center offered a course in watercolor ink, which is a totally, totally different method of painting. It's applying alcohol to the, I guess it's a canvas, but it's totally different than a watercolor. And this is just the sunset. It's, this is oil on wood. It's and another it's one in Heron Cove again, yes. Uh, and uh, there's a place called Hatches Harbor, which when the tide is high, the water comes in from this side and it fills up this area. It doesn't get very deep, maybe a foot and a half total. And then it just disappears when the tide goes out. But we can take the, the vehicle out there, set up, and just be out there in the sun and enjoying the water there. Sand dunes and whatnot. And this is the moon at Head of the Meadows, which is where, where we stay, we stay just uh, up the street from the head of the Meadows Beach, was in, which is in Truro. And here is another example of Impressionism. And this was my interpretation of the dunes, vegetation in the dunes, and in the background you can see the ocean way out there. In the province lands, uh, out on the way to uh, Race Point Beach. How long does it take you to do a painting approximately, say, um, like an acrylic painting? Uh, well, this painting took like three hours. That was the course time, and that's what I did in that time. Yeah, this was plein air. We were out there with our uh, easel set up outside. This one is looking out of the picture window at Wild Vine Studios up on uh, Woodstock Road. That's Morse's Pond, and that again, that's Impressionism. This is this is what I saw out of the window into the pond. This is a watercolor. That's also that's the Moors at. Uh, in Provincetown at high tide when it comes in. This is all, when, the, when, there's, when it's low tide, this is all just sand and um, you can walk right across to get out to the beach over the whole thing. This is a watercolor. When, when I first took the course the, from Alex in Worcester and I was really getting into it, so I went into Boston, I took the, uh, I took the paint and I took the uh, paper 
and we sat in Copley Square, so that's Trinity Church, and that's the Prudential, the, uh, the newer Prudential thing right there. This is kind of our, like, going back. I took the watercolor class, and I found this. This was Billy's toy from when he was a child, and I found it in the closet somewhere. And I painted it, and I thought it came out okay. So we kept the thing, and it used to have a mechanism, and it would speak, but that's kind of all gone by. So if you look at this painting, that's a picture of Billy holding the clown. That's a picture of him getting it on Christmas Day in the rocking chair, this rocking chair. So as you can see, it's 57 years old, and as is the clown, and as is the rocking chair. So this was... Uh, this was another acrylic I did to replicate the one that I did 50 years ago when I first started into the painting thing. Yes. And once again, we have the lighthouse at the Cape. And I thank you again, Margaret, for having me. You're very welcome.